hello friends welcome to my channel my name is kapil okay and uh, today in this video we are going to talk about kenoi and uh, keppel scripting okay so uh, kenoi basically we use for testing at the same time keppel also we use for testing and uh, the keppel mainly we use for a uh, automated testing okay so where you want to uh, uh, think we need to test it and we need to data the test case and which we will execute uh, completely and we will get the result okay so it is completely automated uh, testing and where uh, in kenoi we will do uh, testing while we develop the things okay so i will uh, given one example and uh, i will try to uh, um, make you understand okay so let's say uh, consider a case where let's say you have a diagnostic request okay so let's say you can test that uh, request and response okay uh, using a uh, kenoi so you can trigger that request and uh, see okay what is the response you are getting and you will see that response byte there okay and uh, in the log itself okay so and you can trigger the request using ig block even you can uh, do a uh, testing with uh, let's say you can send a, to uh, like send a request based on a particular key you can press the particular key and it will send that request and you will get the uh, response that is also you can do and even timer based also implementation you can do in kenoi where you can let's say sequentially at a 10 millisecond or 20 millisecond you want to send up uh, data and uh, uh, see the response but here the main thing is whatever the response you are getting that you will evaluate uh, manually okay and let's say based on a response you want to trigger something new okay so let's say if this is uh, and you want to make a test fail or test pass okay so in this case uh, it is a bit difficult okay because uh, now uh, keppel will come into the picture so with keppel uh, now you can do uh, as i said though there are some limitation in kenoi uh, if you do uh, that directly there could be a way but i am not aware basically okay so now i will tell about the keppel so let's say in keppel now you want to automate the things and you want to validate that byte like what are the response what is the response coming there and based on the response you want to make the data on the test pass and fail and you want to execute multiple test case sequentially okay let's say after this test case you execute this after this test case you execute this after this so let's say i consider example let's say you want to send a read request then you want to set something else then you want to set erase request return request then you want to send the download request let's say for this this case is considered for the bootloader so and each uh, request will and each response you will validate basically which request will once you send you will get a response and if it is okay and then based on that you will proceed with the next step let's say if it is not successful then maybe you have something some different flow okay so you can have many uh, uh, permutation combination there and uh, you can validate you can wait for certain time you can uh, see that what is the response coming you can expect that the, if this response byte is this then you can uh, change yeah, then you can change the flow or maybe you can validate those response byte and based on that you can make the test pass or fail so all this can be done in uh, keppel so basically keppel is the scripting language and where you will write a code which is almost similar to the c language okay only some of the difference here is that you will have some additional uh, functions or uh, yeah that let's say uh, you need to event based so there could be a uh, you you can implement let's say you can implement the timer okay uh, there are different predefined function available there and uh, that you can use it directly based on let's say you are working on a can then uh, based on a particular can um, uh, let's say you 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 want to say that if if you re uh, receive uh, some message uh, with this can id or with this can id then you will do this so those things are also possible okay uh, if if you get an error uh, uh, in on a can then like if you get error frame on can then you will do this so there are many inbuilt uh, funct functionality available which you can use it and uh, based on that you can write your uh, program so it is much more easy there the scripting language is very easy you can write thousands of lines uh, in a very short time and uh, people are using this keppel uh, everywhere okay and it is easy to learn as well if you know c and then 
you definitely will know this as well okay so i would yeah if if, if you have a doubt you can just comment uh, again but yeah this is the in general uh, uh, difference actually okay and uh, yeah you can use this of course that's why the system testing team and other testing team will use the scripting language even nowadays python is uh, python is becoming more popular people are using python because it it basically use the different library and based on that you can do the things okay so let's say if you have a debugger library then you can put a breakpoint directly using a cap, um, python script and you can use that and you can see what is the value so where whatever the libraries are available you can use that functionality in your python so it it has now much wider range compared to the uh, capital as well so that's why people are going for that but yeah uh, these are the major point which i would like to cover in this video i i wanted to cover so i think that's all for this video if you like this video then please uh, press like button and uh, subscribe also thanks for watching this video see you again with a new video till then bye bye